Hey what's up Amnesio Cole and earlier today Ubisoft released the 4.5 update for Watch Dogs Legion. It's brought a ton of features and an entirely new game mode which I'm super excited to talk about so let's get into it. So first off season 2 of multiplayer starts with an entirely new reward track and this one has 80 tiers instead of 50. They've also added cross family console play so that doesn't mean between different console ecosystems it means Xbox One and Xbox Series X, or PS4 and PS5. Total crossplay is expected to come out later this year. And those aren't the only things being added to console, they've also added different performance mode. They finally added a 60 FPS mode, which is under balance, which is 60 FPS, medium quality, and no ray tracing. And they've also added a best quality mode with 30 FPS, high quality settings, and ray tracing. They've also added some new adjustments to the early portion of the campaign to make it easier for new players to get into the game. They've added a new light and immersive UI preset. So immersive is pretty much only essential information on the screen and light is a little bit more than that. Now, if you remember from the Watch Dogs Legion roadmap, they had a picture of Helen Dashwood from the E3 presentation all the way back in 2019. And she is finally gonna be available on the 15th. And they've also released the new tactical op called Project Omni. The description reads, take on this intense challenging content with three other players DeadSec infiltrates a secret project that is affecting people's optic devices throughout the city, only to find out that a mad doctor has been experimenting on the people and has merged their brains with a neural network that he controls. He must be stopped. Pretty interesting description, I'm going to be looking forward to playing this. And for multiplayer, they've also added new daily challenges, new set of masks, the ability to profile other players, and slightly reduced overall difficulty in co-op missions. As well as that, they've also added over 80 memories that will appear in the operative's bio after they've completed various missions. And now, what you've all been waiting for, Watch Dogs Legion of the Dead, which is basically this game's version of zombies, except it's not really, it's actually kind of its own thing, but that's like the closest thing that I can compare it to. I played it, and it's actually really, really fun. You can play with yourself, just yourself, but it's recommended that you play with four people. I played with one other person, and it was actually quite challenging, so I can imagine having two other people would be uh, really fun. So basically, what you have to do is go around and get these supply caches from Albion and Clan Kelly because they've been hoarding them. So on top of the zombies, you're also fighting Albion and Clan Kelly. So you need to go around the map and try and get a certain amount of supply caches. And once you have reached the minimum supplies required, or as many as you think you can grab, you can head over to the extraction point and back to safety. After each successful run, you will be rewarded with Z creds, and you will earn more credits for any supplies over the minimum requirement. Z creds can be used to prepare for your next supply run, allowing you to purchase powerful gadgets and weapons, some of which can be available for credits and cannot be looted as supplies. Currently, this game mode is available as a standalone game, which I thought was kind of weird. It's only available on PC. It's in its alpha phase, which I didn't actually think it was that buggy, although I did only play it for a couple hours. But yeah, already it's really, really fun. Can't wait till the full release, which will be later this summer. So yeah, that is all we have for update 4.5 or the June 1st content on the roadmap. The next big update is Bloodline. It's Wrench, it's Aiden, and the Bloodline story mode. I'm super excited. That's going to be coming in early July as the roadmap states. Hopefully there's no more delays and we'll be able to play it soon, but if there is, I understand. And yeah, so that is it for this update. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this update down in the comment section below, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.